Hey y'all, how you doing today? Hope everybody's doing great. Okay, um, today I'm not working on this. I know there's a bunch of crap on it and I need to get it cleaned off, but I will. Right now, I'm a little more concerned about my light situation. <sighs> See, a friend of mine told me that you can use, look at this, yeah, these guys, LED bulbs in the, uh, in these kind of uh, fluorescent light fixtures. So, I've got a whole bunch of bulbs right there I just picked up from Wally World, and as you can see, I got this light, two bulbs are working, they're not as bright as this one, but they're working. But I've been having trouble with the, these, this light fixture here for a while and that one back there. So I'm just going to replace all of these on this side because every time I'm like in here after dark, which is quite often, everything through here is like I'm working in a dungeon. I have to go get extra lights and all of this sort of stuff and just be nice if I could like you know see better you can see that light right there is you know that one's kind of junky so all right let's get to replacing some of these guys okay I'm gonna set you all up here and uh, I'm gonna get busy be right back okay y'all we're back and I've got turn this around to see I've got these bulbs replaced here and here. Um, I'll just go ahead and give you a little quick little look-see. Let's see, we'll make sure these work. Oh, wow, look at that. That's like an operating room in here now. <laughs> okay, so this is like some spectacular lighting out here. This is incredible. Okay. Um, okay. Now, a couple things to be aware of. One, this is why it tells on here, it says, do, it says turn off power before installing these bulbs. Okay? I thought that was garbage. I thought, oh, that's just a safety thing, you know, and all of that. No. Mm -mm. If you put them in with the power on, uh, please don't touch don't do that but if you do um please don't touch the the little metal these metal tabs right here don't touch those because um yeah there's power going through them <laughs> i didn't touch them but uh yeah so which you can see those you know metal tabs may very well have power going through them uh you've got the little pegs right there let me get this. Sorry about that. But you got these little metal pegs right here. Just like on the old fluorescent bulbs over here. Yeah. They have the metal pegs as well. Whenever you're getting these, buying these, make sure they are set up for uh, fluorescent light fixtures to, that has a ballast in them. Okay? Um, oh, and... Like it says on there, be sure to turn the power off. Reason why is if you put the bulb in the fixture with the power on, it, it'll come on, but it's just a low, very uh, dim bulb. So you have to turn the power off. Now, you might be able to, like, once you get the bulbs in, turn the power off, then come back, turn it back on. I guess you could do that. But anyway, um, reason I'm doing all this is I just want this place a little bit better to work in than what it has been. Uh, the fluorescent bulbs, when it gets cold out here, I don't have any insulation in here. So when it gets cold out here, it, it, you know, if it's 30 something degrees outside, it's 30 something degrees in here too. So, I mean, I've had those big, those big kerosene heaters in here going full blast, you know, burning up gallons of fuel and you know, gallons of kerosene and nothing 
you know, the temperature might rise maybe two degrees or something. <laughs> I mean, I, I guess that would be nice on like a really, really super cold day. And if you really had to have it, that would be really great. But, you know, if you don't, it's just the way it is, you know. Uh, so I'm not going to stay here long enough to be putting, you know, um, insulation in this building anyway so yeah you know and before too much longer we're gonna be we're gonna be getting rid of this place moving on so but you know in the meantime i'm gonna be doing this sort of stuff getting the garage just a little bit better a little bit more workable a little more usable and so next i'm gonna replace these two bulbs yeah those two right there, yes, they work fine. There's no issues with them, but I want a little bit. I'm going to put those LED bulbs in there, and I may take those two bulbs and put them back in that fixture back there. So, okay. All right. Let me get these swapped out, okay? Uh, tell you what. I'll just let you see what it's like. Um, honestly, this is like just simple as cake, all right? There's not much to it. I mean, there's just the bulb. You just twist it, and then you, uh, you just grab it, twist it, pull it down. It's not a very big deal. It really, really isn't, okay? So, here we go. do this one-handed I hope all right see yep there we go okay now one other little thing these bulbs have a strip see that strip right there yeah that strip in the back of them is uh, really that strip right there um, if you have it pointing down then it may block some of your workable light. Um, try to put these in to where that strip is facing up towards the light fixture. And just the opposite, you just want to get the pins, you know, lined up, you know, straight up and down. I usually I put like one end in. Okay, I'll put one end in the fixture like so. There's probably some electrician out there telling me, screaming at the this television saying or computer saying how wrong I'm doing this but hey anyway if I can do this one-handed I may not be able to oh my god okay looks like I can take them out one-handed but I can't put them in one-handed okay I'll be right back folks my apologies okay y'all as you can see that thing is like massively brighter all right so um so i'll just go ahead and tell you that the led bulbs definitely worth the money um i think for let's see i got these here i got the wally world walmart um 10 bulbs and it was like 45 bucks the four foot bulbs um, you know 50,000 hour life 1825 lumens so, um, these four here were like 40 something bucks at, at uh, Lowe's yes Lowe's so yeah, so anyway, but, um, yeah, so I know that doing this doesn't seem like, well, it's not all that technical and it's not all that cool and, and everything like that. Well, the thing of it is, is like how this works is, you know, when you're working on something it's really nice if you've got a really good workspace. 
Um, if you've got, like, if it's cluttered up, me, um, if it's, you know, disorganized, uh, if, you know, the lighting's not very great. I mean, when I started in this garage, I had, like, extension cords and a bunch of these drop lights, like, just like this. Yeah, I had a bunch of those guys, okay? As you can see, I've got a couple left. But, um, what I want you to understand is that, you know, making sure, you know, your workspace is, you know, well lit, uh, you know, so as decent a space as you can make it, okay? Whether that workspace is, you know, in your garage or in your carport or in your, you know, maybe even in your parking lot or something like that. Whatever the case may be, you know, try to make the job easier for you. That's the main thing. That's the main takeaway here, okay? So, yeah, I mean, I'm not talking about, you know, some, uh, you know, air-conditioned garage with, you know, hot and cold running water and the living space and everything like that. Okay, maybe that's my dream, but, hey, we can all dream, okay? So, anyway, all right, I'm going to get off here. Uh, rambled on long enough, all right? So, um, if you got any questions about this or any other previous videos, post them down below. I'll do everything I can to help you out, okay? Thank you very much, and I... Thank you so much for all the subscribers, too. Thank you for subscribing. So have a great day, and God bless. And put some better lights in your garage.